The language that's used to create web pages is called HTML. This is what HTML script looks like here. And we're using a program here called Brackets, which is a code editor. It allows us to have to, to write the code and then use this thing over here, which is called a, uh, a live preview, which opens up in a browser. Uh, and this is actually what that uh, HTML script looks like here. So here's the script. And this is what it looks like in a web page. Now, it, uh, it captures all of the content, but it doesn't have that visual appeal that modern websites have. Uh, but we will learn how to zhush that up using a, a different language called CSS that works alongside HTML. But we're going to be using brackets as our code editor. And I'm going to show you how to, to set up a, a blank template or sheet ready to go for us to build our web page. Um, and so when you first open brackets, this is what you, you see. Uh, and it's certainly worth having a read through of this, but it certainly gives you an idea of the different tags. So the first tag we have is the doc type, and it tells the computer what language this is written in. And then the next tag is HTML. And you'll see right down the bottom, uh, web pages in HTML can be as long as as long as you like and so here there's a corresponding closing tag uh, and so you'll see for each uh, or the majority of tags in HTML there's an opening and closing tag so for example this first section is called the head there's an opening tag and a closing tag and can you see how all of the closing tags have a slash and then the, 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 uh, the name of the tag so here's a paragraph opening tag and closing tag. Um, okay, so the different sections then. We have our doc type first of all, uh, and then we have HTML and everything inside that is uh, included on the web page, with the exception of the head. So the head is a section that contains the title of the web page, uh, also contain all sorts of different metadata as well, but we're not gonna be worried about that. Certainly the title, this is uh, what is, uh, is featured, say, on, on the tab of the web page. And then down here with the body, this is the stuff you actually see on the web page. So if we flick back over to the preview, getting started with brackets. So that's a, a heading, and they've called that heading one. And then see this one here is a different font, different size. It's heading two. So we'll just flick back over here. So we've got um, heading one and then heading two. Now also, can you see uh, this part here isn't actually on our web page. So I'll flick over and have a look at it again. So this is your guide and then welcome to brackets. This part here is, um, is a note but it doesn't actually show on the web page. As you can see, it's not there. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make up a, um, uh, a template here. So we need to open up a new document and we need to actually save that. So we'll go save as, and we'll need to put that into a folder. So I'm just gonna put that into my desktop and I'm gonna make a folder called brackets trial trial web page. Okay, now we actually need to call, we actually need to call this index.html. Okay, so it's in the project folder called brackets trial, uh, and this particular uh, document is called index.html. It must be saved as that, otherwise, we won't be able to live preview it. Okay, so we need to then go ahead and put um, all of those different tags in. So was doc type HTML.
Okay, and then we had um, HTML. Now, can you see how it, it actually gives us the closing tag, which is, can be really helpful. Next thing we're going to have is the head. And again, we've got a close for that head. Now, inside the head, I'm just going to put title. So all we're going to worry about here is our title. And see how it automatically indents for us. And we, we often do want those indents. Now, the computer, when it reads this, it doesn't, it's not interested in that at all. But it just makes it easy for us to be able to see and navigate. Same with this white space there as well. So we can leave spaces or, or not, it doesn't matter at all. So we've closed our head, so now we need our body. And again, automatically closes as well. Now inside our body, we're gonna have some headers. So H1, there's six different types of, head, uh, of headings. So we're just gonna have one for the moment, but you can always add more. And then we'll have a paragraph. And again, opening and closing, I might go ahead and put that there. So we'll probably put our paragraph text in there. And then we're closing our body and we're closing our HTML. So that then is a template that we could copy and use. It doesn't take very long to write, but that's everything we need. Um, so then we go ahead and write our title in here. Uh, and that would be... Uh, would be showing up uh, on the um, top of the web page uh, or the, uh, the tab. Uh, and then in here, our header, um, our heading, and then our paragraph content. So just to show you, I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. Okay, and I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a demonstration. This is a test. I am testing brackets. Okay, so let's save. And now we're going to go and look for our live preview. And there we have it. So this is a test, I'm testing brackets. So that was our heading, our H1, and this was our paragraph. So we can make this as long as we like. And we'll worry about changing the font and all later. But at the moment, we've just got to, uh, we're actually getting some content and some text onto the page.